What's up, everybody? Today, I want to talk to you about why financial advisors love traditional planning and typically why entrepreneurs or business owners don't. When it comes to financial planning, a traditional model uh, has what's called fees, where you invest into somebody else's business in the form of mutual funds or stocks, and the advisor who manages those funds is allowed to charge you a fee. So I want to give you a quick example on how expensive that actually is and how detrimental it can be to the consumer. So let's just assume you have a million dollars in an account. And I know that's a lot. If you have less than that, that's okay. Um, let's just use a million bucks for easy purposes. And let's just say that the, the advisor is charging you 1% to manage that. Now, I've seen advisors charge a lot more than that, up to 2 even 2.5%, two depending on the size of the account. So a million dollar account, uh, t paying 1% to, a, to a, a manager. And let's say it's in the form of like a SEP IRA or some sort of pre-taxed account. So there, have, there haven't been taxes taken out of this account just yet. So you got a million dollars in this account. And I mean, if you asked anybody on the street, a million dollars is quite a bit of money. You know, a million dollars in an account back 20, 30 years ago, you'd be considered a millionaire. Today, I don't think that has the same meaning as it used to, but a million dollars in an account is quite a bit of money. So you have a million dollars in this account and you're paying 1%. So what's 1% of a million? You're paying about $10,000 to the advisor to manage that account. Now that's not much, um, but here's a question. When the account goes up, the advisor makes more money. When the account goes down, the advisor makes less money, but the fee is still gonna be the same. Now they're incentivized to have you get more and more money in that account because then they'll make more money. The question is though, what do you get? What does the consumer get? Well, let's just say, you, you know what? You get to the age you want to go spend the money, so you take all million dollars out of this account. All million dollars. How much do you actually get to keep? Probably around 600000 of that is going to go to you, and then the other around 400000 and the other 400000 is going to go to who? The IRS. The IRS has to get paid when you take money out of these accounts. So you have a million dollars in an account, which you and I would probably agree that's a lot of money. But then when you take it all out, with the way taxes are today, almost $400,000 is going to go to the IRS. So what is the, the advisor really charging you money on? Are they charging you a fee on your portion? Or are they charging you a fee on your portion and the IRS's portion? You see, what a lot of people don't understand is that there's a lien on a traditional financial plan, a traditional pre-taxed retirement account. There's a lien, there's money in that account that has to go to the IRS that the, the, the advisor's not really talking about. Almost half of that account belongs to the IRS. So then what happens? You get people that say, I would never do that. I would never take out a million dollars from a SEP IRA in one year. Well then why is, how is this successful? What's the whole purpose of saving money in the first place? Eventually, you're gonna to wanna to spend it. So let's look at how you spend it. Let's say here's you, age 65, you've made it, you finally made it to retirement, you got a million bucks in your account, and you're gonna take income off of that account. Do you know what the advisors and the traditional plan, uh, financial planning method today talk about as far as income numbers? They say if you wanna retire successfully and you don't wanna run out of money, you should not take more than 4%. In fact, there's a lot of reports out right now that, have, that say that that number is actually less, down to 3%. Let's just keep it at four. So what's 4% of a million? $40,000. So you have a million dollars in an account. You've saved your entire life. There's a lien on this thing. So you're going to take $40,000 a year out. There's a lien on this thing. So you're going to take $40,000 a year at minus taxes. You owe tax out of this account, out of that income, the $40,000. Now think about this if you're a financial planner. You live on, it took you a lifetime to save a million dollars in this account. You live on 40,000 a year and the advisor lives on 10. The advisor only needs four people, just like you, to duplicate your income. You ever wonder why financial advisors wear suits all day and drive really nice cars? Trust me, I have plenty of suits at home. I don't like wearing them anymore because most of my clients don't wear suits every day. Four clients would duplicate 
the income that a very successful client would be for that advisor. This is why advisors love pre-taxed accounts because they're allowed to charge a fee on a portion of money that the consumer will never see. I hope this was beneficial. If you want to set up an appointment, click the link in that email that was sent to you and I'd love to show you how to not only avoid future taxation, but to minimize the fees that go to advisors. Talk to you soon.